Uh, in this video, I'm going to quickly demonstrate how to update the BIOS using a USB. Right, so the first thing is you'll need to get the BIOS files from the download center from Intel. I'll quickly show you how to do that. All right, so you can do a search for Intel Download Center or go directly to Intel's website. I've now done a search for Nook 6i5SYH. Obviously, if your Nook is different, you will do a different search. Then here on the left-hand side, I can sort it according to BIOS. In this case, there's only one option. I can now say View Details. Now it's giving me the available downloads. Now for the F7 Memory Stick option, I use this file. Now, if you scroll down, it actually says which file to use. And if you are going to be updating your BIOS using the F7, then we're using this file, the first one. Now, in the video, I'm only demonstrating the F7. So I download this. I accept the terms and conditions. Right, there's the file. It's now downloaded. Now I need to plug in the USB stick into my computer. I've already done that. I drag just the file into the USB stick. The USB stick, if you look at the root folder, this is the root folder. It is empty, only now containing the BIOS file. I'm doing this on another computer or you could do this on your computer before you attempt the BIOS update. Right, once you've copied the BIOS file onto the USB, you need to get into the menu. So all I need to do is I power on the Nook and I wait getting ready to press F7 as the post screen starts. Right, so when the computer is booting, I'm pressing F7 repeatedly. Now you should see this screen. Now I insert my USB stick into the USB port of the Nook. Right, now I refresh the media list. Now you should see your mass storage device listed. I click on it. I now see the BIOS file. I double click on it. It says there, are you sure you wish to update the BIOS? I now say yes. I've got to press the enter in order to activate the command. Right, I've hit the enter on the keyboard. Now the unit reboots. Right, there's the older version and that's what it's updating to. This process takes between three to five minutes. Do not interrupt this process. Do not pull out the power cable. Do not remove the USB stick. Do not bump anything. Just leave the computer to finish this process. Right, it says their flash update has completed successfully. So I can now reboot the Nook. Right, I press and hold the power button for four seconds. I remove the USB which had the BIOS file and I power on the Nook. I now restart the Nook, pressing F2 repeatedly. I now see the new BIOS version. There, it did take the update and now I can configure my unique BIOS settings as I see fit. If you do not need to make any further changes here, you just exit and carry on as normal using your Nook. Thanks for watching and cheers.